a brand new day ahead. So much to do, so much to see. So get your ass up out of bed. Get out now, time's wasted. There's no reward for hesitating. Hey guys, as you've already seen by the title of the video, I'm going to be talking about BDU pants and ACU pants, the differences and similarities and stuff. Uh, first of all, I want to mention that I'm not in the military, never have been. This is not any kind of official assessment, and I don't mean to speak for any of the people in uniform. This is my own personal opinion because I've been wearing military-style pants my entire adult life. Um, for example, the reason is they're really rugged, really made well. This pair, okay, I got, I think, in 1990. I don't wear them anymore because I'm a little bit bigger. They don't fit me anymore, but I just can't bring myself to get rid of them. And the point is, look, the pattern is still clear on them. These probably have been washed a billion times, right? They're... They got uh, some wear and tear. I think they actually have a hole in them someplace that I that I glued <laughs> shut, right? Uh, they're super rugged, super durable, and so that's why I wear them. And also because of the bellows pockets that they have on them, uh, they're you know you can carry a lot. I like also the freedom of movement that they provide because they're a little bit baggy. Uh, I don't like jeans because they're a little bit snug. Um, <clears throat> the pants. If you get mil spec pants, they're made really well and they really last. And so that's why I've been wearing them for years. And so I'm going to go ahead and get started on some of the features. All right, first of all, like the pockets, the fly is button fly, right? Um, I suppose the idea behind that is um, they're originally made for military and the buttons are a little easier to fix in the field if it were to get damaged instead of a zipper. A zipper, if it fucks up, you're just shit out of luck. Uh, the truth of the matter is we do have some good zippers these days, and so that's actually uh, changed. Some of the good brands, right, like Proper, has taken to using a high-quality zipper. Now, um, like I said, we've got good quality zippers these days for outdoor gear. and. Um, this is one of them. It's a good sturdy zipper, right? It's not fragile little zipper. Um, maybe if I was entrenched somewhere in Afghanistan, I would find the zipper. Uh, it doesn't work as well as the buttons, but you know, I'm rugged, but I'm not quite that rugged. And the, the zipper on the proper uh, BDU pants has never given me any trouble in my everyday life. And so I'm pretty sure, like, your average person, you're not going to have trouble with the zippers that are available on the brand uh, called Proper. Uh, the other brand that I wear is, is Rothko. Um, okay, so Rothko is a good brand, and uh, Proper are a good brand. Uh, what you want to look for is mil spec. Uh, it means they, they are up to the same specifications as the military uniforms. And um, I know Proper it actually says that they're uh, above military spec. Rothko, I'm not sure, but both of them have been uh, really sturdy and durable. Uh, of course, anytime you have buttons on pants, you're going to have the problem of perhaps a button's going to pop off. But uh, with those two brands, I never have a lot of trouble with that. Okay, happening. so back to the features here. Um, the BDU pants have double reinforced knees, which is a real good idea. You know, I mean, the pants are made really rugged already. But uh, the knees are reinforced so that if you're crawling around or whatever, that doesn't wear your pants out faster. Uh, the bellows pockets on the legs is one of the main reasons why I wear BDU pants. And they are button closure with two buttons. Your good quality uh, pants, like I said before, the buttons aren't going to pop off as bad as your cheaper ones. Um, these ones always work just fine. Um, they have a take-up tab on the sides so that if you're a little bit smaller or have sizes and so on uh, these ones fit me just fine so I don't need to use those and I find that this thing does kind of bind up under my belt sometimes and it's a little bit uncomfortable but other than that it doesn't cause me any trouble um, the BDU pants also tie at the ankle to blouse on your boots you know to keep shit out of there I'm not sure why we can't use elastic uh, there but uh, they still tie. 
Alright, so that's the BDU pants. The majority of the pants I wear are BDUs. Uh, I only have one pair of ACUs that I got, and I'm glad that I did. I really like them. But there's some differences, and so we're going to go over that. Um, the material, first of all, I'm not sure what the difference is, but I like the material that they're made of uh, as opposed to the nylon cotton uh, BDUs, which is what I usually wear. The Nyko blend is, is a good blend. And I think it's nylon cotton for the ACUs, but they have a softer feel. And so you would think that would make it weaker. But um, I wear them in the woods and all sorts of, I work in a warehouse, and I wear them in some rugged conditions, and they hold up really well, every bit as good as the BDUs. And uh, they're softer to the touch, they feel softer on you. And so I'm not sure what the material is or how they did it, but I really like that part. And I really like the pattern, right, and the colors. I'm fond of the browns and greens. And so that's why, uh, for example, I showed the uh, tiger stripe ones and the desert ones. I like those ones. The desert ones are my favorites. And I like the pattern and the colors on the ACUs. Uh, once again, they have a button fly. I'm not really sure why they didn't move up to zippers, except, like I said, perhaps the uh, uh, field expedience repairs. They do not have the take up ties on the ACUs. The ACUs have uh, a drawstring in here, which once again they, they fit me perfect so I don't need to use the drawstring and it kind of gets in the way uh, whenever you open the fly. If you're not careful when you're pulling other things out you may pull a little string out along with it. Okay, like the BDUs, the back pockets button. Okay, but unlike the BDUs, the bellows pockets on the sides have this Velcro. Now the ACUs like Velcro a lot. I know on the military uniforms, if you look, the uh, all the insignia, rank insignia, unit patches, and everything is held on by Velcro for some reason. I personally fucking hate Velcro, and one of the reasons is that it's not sticking. Okay, these are not very old, and the pockets just do not stick anymore. Another reason, uh, as you can see, the stitching doesn't go all the way around. You got this edge. This is some really sturdy plastic uh, Velcro, and I can't tell you how many damn times I have cut myself or scratched myself just sticking my hand in my pocket, okay? I, I, this is a sharp edge, and it fucking cuts me. Um, I like the fact that it's got a elastic drawstring on the pockets, which enables them to really stretch out further, but I really would have liked to see them uh, stick with the buttons. Like I said, I don't know what the fascination with the damn Velcro is, but I can't stand it. Um, also closed by Velcro down here is a little pocket on your ankle, uh, which I don't know what it's for. So anybody out there, if you can clue me in about what the little pocket on the ankle is for, uh, that'd be interesting to know. The Velcro here works really well, and the reason is because I don't ever use it. I don't ever open them. So yeah, check. Velcro doesn't work for shit and um, like I said I don't want to speak for the people in uniform but uh, I'd like to know what you guys have to say about the velcro because once again if you're if you're out in the field and you have a slightly uh, more difficult and hectic life than I do it seems like your pockets not working correctly would be a pain in the ass now also like the BDU pants they uh, still use a drawstring down here I'm not sure why I mean they use the elastic band on the pockets. It seems to me that you could have an elastic that would come out large enough for me to get my damn boot through and then still snap to right around my ankle, but they still use the drawstring. Not sure about that, not sure why, but they do. And then they also have this uh, Velcro opening uh, inside the reinforced knee, and I believe the reason for that is to uh, put knee pads in there which uh, in a combat situation I'm sure would be real handy. I don't use it, but uh, it's an available feature, which of course the pants were originally made for combat, not for what I use them for. So uh, it's a neat feature that I don't use. Okay, so when it comes down to it, if they had gotten together with me first before making the ACUs, I'd have said, nix the stupid Velcro. Uh, I hate Velcro. And I hate it on the ACUs. That is the main thing I dislike about these pants. Other than that, they're great. 
I love the ACU pants except for the damned Velcro and because of that I prefer the BDUs. They, uh, they're not good enough to go past the BDU. Uh, the Velcro really goes against them. So uh, that's my review on BDUs and ACUs. Hope you found it somewhat interesting and useful.